Good morning, everyone. This is Melanie from Late Beams Treasures. Today is November 11th, 2020. Very special honor to the veterans out there. I want to thank you so much for your service. Thank you for giving everything to your country. And just remember a veteran today. Um, very sensitive topic. I'm, I'm involved with the veterans group here. My father was a veteran. My husband's a veteran. So it's it's a sensitive topic. It's uh, different than Memorial Day. But Veterans Day is to honor the alive, while Memorial Day is to honor the deceased. But uh, today, I just want to thank all the veterans out there. And thank you so much for your service. So today is Wednesday. You know what Wednesday is? Paul oh, swap me. Yay! Hopefully I can get in. Yeah, usually he has no problem. He always lets me in. <laughs> but I have some really, really cool stuff because I had my first official referral customer consignment, which I think that was very, very interesting. Um, got a message that they were referred from a friend of mine, and they have some items that they would like me to sell on their behalf. And it was funny because I was already in a time to clean my office mode, uh, ignoring the shelf. I actually cleaned up this office and I am amazed at how much room I have. I have, you can't, really can't see this, but I have a complete desk here along with a chair. And that's one of the things is she actually sat at the chair. We talked, I got the paperwork. Um, we discussed numbers and that gave me like a, whoops, sorry. <laughs> that gave me like a recharge that, Hey, I must be doing this right. I'm going in the right direction. So, um, I have 24 items that we're going to test out. Uh, she took a couple back. Um, some of it was junk. Um, other stuff I said, look, I am going to try to get my best dollar off of it, but it's up in the air. I mean, eBay is a very interesting, and I told her I'm going to do eBay Macari and not only local, I'll also try to do it on live auctions. So I think I'm going to experiment with some of the Disney stuff on online auctions then probably do everything else in the other things. She also gave me an Xbox 360 complete set. So I gave my husband a job. I says, look, you can help me for something and get have fun. He's like, what? I'm like, test this out. So he got all excited. Like, Oof. So he want, he's playing with the wires and stuff like that. So he's going to test it out, see if it actually works. Because when it comes to gaming systems, not me. And, um... So if it works, that is definitely getting sold local. This way, I don't have to worry about shipping. I don't have to worry about it getting ruined. Um, well, we'll see what happens. There's 24 items. We'll see if I can make um, a nice little profit off of this. As far as cleaning, I spent most of the day cleaning. So I'm very happy with the results of my uh, my office, except the shelves, like I said. Um, in eBay, I started putting some stuff on eBay, and I noticed an interesting trend. Didn't put any movies. I started putting stuff up, like stuffy stuff, and that's what sold was stuffy stuff. So I'm wondering, and I said that before, I think there's a correlation behind the types of categories that you put up will be the types of items that you sell. So the very first item I sold were these pillow fort mittens um they're bath mitts there's two in a pair this one is the dragon this one is the unicorn they normally go for ten dollars each in the stores i sold both of them for ten dollars i do free shipping as well these are super light it's going to be um like four dollars shipping so we're looking at a six dollar profit not bad then the next thing i think this is adorable check this out it's a little teapot but when you open it up it's a little children's tea set in a plastic thing. The highlight of it is the back. Pussy to tea, pussy to tea. This is from um, 1988 Shackman. It's a little tiny tea set for children. Sold this baby for $9.99. Not bad. Then I actually sold, I went a little too cheap, but that's the problem is my store is running a 15% uh, off sale. So I sold this Coca-Cola Bank plane. I paid $15 for it and I sold this for $23 so it's still some profit but mm, I probably could have got a lot more um, I did my research and eh, it's off sale my store is on a sale so sold the plane guy cast 
Very cute. Speaking of Coca-Cola, I have a lot of Coca-Cola stuff. So if you are interested in Coca-Cola, I have glasses. I have playing cards. I have figurines. So something to keep in mind. Um, somebody uh, wrote to me saying, oh, you have a Coca-Cola thing back there. That little tiny thing is a miniature Coca-Cola. Um, it looks like a plane like this, but it's a smaller scale. And inside the propeller is actually a clock, and the propeller is the, uh, the clock, which is kind of cool. And then um, I sold one movie of Gods and Men. That's it. Just one of Gods and Men. And that's it. That is my sales for yesterday. Not too bad. I guess, I guess it's because I was cleaning, focused so much on cleaning, but I'm more happy that I cleaned the office because now it gives me the room. Like my uh, photo station is now completely open. I could just, and I'm thinking I'm going to put up her 24 items. Well, put most of it up. Some of it I'm saving for auction. And then I'm going to move on to hats and just keep going hats, hats, because I have a complete tub of nothing but vintage hats. That's actually really, really excited. So I got to run my comps. I got to see how much everything is. But um, other than that, it is Wednesday, it is hump day, it is Veterans Day. So be sure to thank a veteran out there. They really, really appreciate it. Um, it's not often that they do get thanked. And I will tell you this, particularly veterans who have served in any number of the wars, if randomly you just go up to them and thank them, it just, it sparks happiness. I mean, if you really want to make a veteran happy, do it on a day that's not Veterans Day, just randomly go up to them and thank them. Because sometimes, in some cases, that could be the deciding factor, considering there is so much uh, depression prevalent in the veteran community. So give out a shout out to all the veterans. And as far as me, I'm going to set up for today. Like I said, Paul Swap Meet is today. Tomorrow, I'm doing the Christmas auction with the Real Real Housewife. And then Friday, we're doing whatever we're doing on Friday with Flippin' Frozen. Missed her sale yesterday because I did have uh, some plans last night. Um, has nothing to do with business, but I had um, I, um, uh, some friends come over and had to discuss some things. Yeah, it was one of those nights. But I'm feeling much better. Um, I got my uh, blood test, and we're going to see what happens with the results. So that should take about a week or so. And I guess that's it. So everyone, have a great day. This is Ellie with Light Beam Stretch.